So here I am working with a similar sort of silvery color that I was using in the flesh to um, build in some values that I see in the dress um, to break it down from just the simple uh, blank canvas and start to just get some canvas covered and um, as well as just continue to progress in developing the forms. Sometimes the best thing to do is not try to move things, but just to start over. Um, so you see, I, I attempted to get the feet in there, and um, just wasn't feeling right, so I, um, I just restarted, which it's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to take this wash and kill the Kill the background. You'll notice I'm erasing some of my previous marks, which is fine, um, simply because at this point in the painting, those marks I can redo very easily. I wanted to make sure that the figure was right with respect to those, and it is. So now when I go and put them back in, I know that they'll be in the right place. Okay. Now that really helps to kind of understand of all of our values. I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm just going to kind of redraw some things in here. So after getting the background drawn in again here with the alizarin crimson and sap green mixture, I'm going to mix up a very dark color um, that is phthalo cyanide green and uh, cadmium red. It's the darkest color yet and um, I'm just going to lay it in in the darkest values so I can go ahead and have a full spectrum of value on the canvas. That's good. Let me go up in here with the same dark color. Just sort of block in. Some of the darker. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to grab some pretty strong green here, um, and this might look crazy when I put it up on here, but I want to try to get the green in this bush that's by the head, because I need something to judge by. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. need something to um, judge 
both the value and the color intensity that's in the face. Even though it doesn't have the same green, I want it to I want it to um, compete appropriately with these colors. Um, in terms of just when I get this when I get this correct, the reds that are in there, you know, how does that look against the green? Well, if the green isn't right, I'm probably not going to go strong enough on the red. We're going to increase the intensity of the chroma and um, by using some straight cadmium yellow and um, thalocyanine green. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to handle this because this isn't grass. This is um, just little clovers and etc. Just little splashes of green. But like with the dark colors, I really like pushing this balance of, of color and value. Um, so if I've got all this up here, in my opinion, it needs something to balance it. So I'm lightening again, and I'm adding some red. more yellow and I'm going to go with sap green this time instead of the yellow cyanide because I want to get um, these colors that kind of lay in here. I just want to suggest some of this green in a few places. I'm, I'm going to get to this whole portion later but for now I do want to get a little bit of this in. So here I'm just using the rag to move paint around, um, pick it up from the palette and put it on the canvas, and also just remove it in some places, um, trying to think big, think big picture, looking at the entire canvas as a whole, and trying to keep um, the, the whole thing moving forward, um, keeping my um, priorities right in terms of the areas that need detail and the areas that don't. So I'm satisfied with that and um, I'm going to move on to the dress briefly just because I want to get the dress, the color right. Um, very similar to why I put this green in. I want to get the blue that's in the dress down before I start getting uh, going for the right colors in the face. Just got titanium white and, um, and my blue. And I'm just going to test out this color. Yeah. A little more purple. We're going to find this area here. As I lay in this color, I'm actually going bluer than what the image would suggest because I want to get closer to what reality is and not what um, the image says. And I'm, usually when I'm starting, um, I try to cheat in the direction of more intense colors. Um, like this blue and as the painting progresses I can um, overlap it with colors that are a little bit more neutral and it lends a sense of atmosphere to the form.